Hello everyone, uh, this is Cindy once again and today I'm going to be reviewing one of my most favorite products made by Nuna. This is going to be the Nuna Senna Air. Alright, so why do I love this product? Why did I decide to go for a plate pen versus a crib? So one of the things that I have found and benefits that I've received from this crib is the mobility. We travel all the time to Austin to go visit our, our family and this is just so versatile and so easy to pack and put it in the truck and travel with it. So if you're looking for a crib that you want to be able to use at home and always, as I was saying, make any room into a baby's room. So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna start talking about is how I use this from birth. So the product does come with a uh, bassinet. Um, it's actually this uh, top part of, of the crib here. It goes all the way to halfway. Um, this here is gonna be for your babies between three to five months, up to 15 pounds. They do recommend to stop using it uh, once your baby starts kind of lifting themselves up. up. Uh, I really doubt that at that point they're going to be walking, but they just want to make sure your baby's safe. So at that point, I stopped using the bassinet. Um, I think Elijah used it up to five months. I wanted to get, you know, the best worth um, from the bassinet here. You're going to start by pulling on the lever there. Fold it in, and you're going to use a wall so that you can fold the crib with the mattress. You're gonna use the outside area. As you can see, the straps, those are gonna help you fold everything in. You're gonna feed the straps, tighten up. You're gonna do the bottom, make sure it is good and tight and secured. Now you're gonna go and grab your travel bag. It comes with the Nuna Senna Air, so you're, you're ready to go here. I also use some of the spaces inside of the bag and the crib to store stuff. So I put the, uh, the, the uh, what is it called, a sheet. And um, that's it, you're ready to go. Now, to get it ready for whenever you get to your destination. Go ahead and start by opening up the travel bag. You're gonna flip the crib, because that's the bottom part. Undo the straps, press down on the circle in the middle, and that opens up the crib nicely. Now you're gonna put the fitted sheet on. You wanna make sure that the Velcro on the bottom is attached so that it doesn't move around when the baby moves. And there you go. I mentioned earlier about getting an extra fitted sheet. Uh, like I mentioned, it's just more beneficial for you. The baby is gonna have an accident. Um, they're going to puke, they're going to poo, pee, whatever it is, and the sheet's going to get dirty. So you want to have an extra one while you wash this one. Um, so that's a plus accessory there. Um, the fitted sheet is $39. So it is a little bit pricey, but like I mentioned, it's made out of good materials and it's actually organic cotton. So um, I would say it, it's, it's worth it. Another amazing thing and another accessory that I purchased for this crib is, let me show you, give me one second. Voila, a changing station. I cannot finish telling you how amazing this little accessory is. All you do is align it and then you slide it in this has helped avoid all those back aches. Uh, I had a really hard time changing the baby in the bed. I thought that was going to be a lot more cost effective, but uh, with you know, in the next what week after he was born, I knew I needed this baby here. So this is recommended for up to 12 months. Elijah is now 22 months and I still use it to change him. So it's very sturdy. You just want to make sure you're careful. You're always right next to your baby while you're changing them. Uh, but it is great for up to 22 months. The last accessory that I want to talk about, uh, this is not made by Nuna. I did not buy them at their website. Um, I actually bought it at the Mattress Firm website. It is a mattress that measures 36 
by 25 and a half approximately and an inch and a half of thickness. So the reason why I decided to buy this mattress is because I started noticing that Elijah would prefer to sleep in our bed instead. Um, so I wanted to buy something that was gonna make his crib a lot more comfortable. Uh, at this point, he's past the point of the dangers of SIDS. He's over 18 months and he's wanting to get a comfier mattress. So I bought this lovely mattress. It was about 36, 40 bucks. Um, I don't think they make it anymore, so I'm not gonna include the website for it. But like I mentioned, if you're wanting to get a mattress like this, I recommend it after 18 months, after the dangers of SIDS. And the measurements for it are 25 and a half, 26 to 36. And it depends on what kind of thickness you want to get your, your toddler at this time. Um, this mattress made a difference in the amount he was sleeping at night. So I definitely recommend it at some point. Uh, if you're gonna be using any type of playpen, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's just for the new neck. It could be for any other playpen because I, I guarantee you, this is gonna make it a lot more comfortable for your baby. Um, but yeah. Now I'm going to show you how I use this playpen uh, now that Elijah is walking um, at, well, at whatever point he was crawling and then walking. Uh, I took this baby out everywhere. If I was going to the park, if I was going to the pool, it would come with me. Um, there are additional accessories that you can purchase. I did the, uh, the net for the mosquitoes. Um, I found it very helpful. The mesh right over here is small enough but breathable enough for the baby um, to avoid all those mosquitoes and any other insects from going in there. To make it into a playpen, you're going to start by removing the changing station. Then you're going to remove the mattress. You're going to start undoing each corner and each side. You'll have some straps that buckle up in the back. And those you just press that on open. And that's it. All right. Once you remove the bassinet, you just put in your mattress. And there's your playpen. I hope everyone enjoyed my video today on my personal review of the Nuna Senna uh, Air. Um, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions, anything that I didn't cover that you're still wondering about. Leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to reply to you. Um, once again, thank you so much. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a like button uh, on the bottom and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for future reviews. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day.